Um, the way you've got to launch into into space, you've got to make sure that the orbit of the station is overhead when you launch, and so it has to be timed down to the second. And here they are, Crew 11, walking outside for the final time before launch and into a mission years in the making. Orion countdown, crew walkout is underway on schedule. Commander Zena Cardman, pilot Michael Fink, JAXA astronaut Kamiya Yui, and Roscosmos's Oleg Platonov. I see some Crew 11 shirts down there. And that's Zena Cardman that we see on the left, Mike Fink on the right, and I've seen Zena do that a number of times, making the heart symbol with her hands. Certainly sending her love to her family who have supported her. Yeah, you don't get there on your own. None of these individuals have, uh, have gotten there on their own. It takes the uh, support and love of family and friends and colleagues, and it's a, it's a team sport. You see Mike Fink on the right there, the pilot. He is flying He is flying uh, along in his kit a Gamasa, which he is, uh, he tells us his wife is of Indian origin. And the Gamasa is used in the state of Assam to, as kind of a scarf. And so he's taking that with him. He's taken a scarf from his side of the family, that side of the family, for all four of his flights. A token, certainly, of their blessing on this flight today, but also has sentimental purposes. Yeah, little little bits and, and pieces of home that we can take along with us. And you know, I mentioned that uh, we're big into traditions and and and, and rituals and superstitions, and uh, um, you'll find that that lots of lots of crew members uh, have their little token of good luck. You can see him uh, connecting to that cooling air. They've been uh, off of it for a few minutes now, and so a little warm in the uh, the Florida air. Last goodbyes uh, as the doors come down, and then uh, uh, immediate family will be able to uh, come up to the windows uh, after they crack them. Yep, they're going to roll those windows down a little bit and and give some last words before launch and before they depart the operations and checkout building. Inside Zena's Tesla there, she'll have the flight surgeon going with her. Yeah, and you can see the, the lengths we go to to preserve that quarantine. You know, you wait till they're, they maintain their distance when they're outside the cars. Once they get inside the cars, uh, there's still some distance. All the, all the personnel that are in the cars with them have also been in quarantine this entire time. So it's not just the crew members that are in quarantine for a couple weeks. It's, uh, it's a group of several dozen people that, uh, that have to quarantine. I want to point out Secretary uh, Sean Duffy is here. He is uh, NASA's acting administrator. Also Secretary of Transportation here supporting the launch today and the crew there at uh, the walkout. He's the gentleman with the glasses and the blue suit coat, which I think is second from the right. There he is. A shot over his shoulder. He just uh, took the reins of NASA just a few weeks ago. He's doing so on an acting basis until 
an administrator can be nominated and then confirmed by Congress. A look inside the window, Zena Cardman. Giving some waves. And I imagine it, emotions must be running high. How can they not? <laughs> You've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Uh, and uh, now you've, you know, you've said your, your goodbyes. Uh, it's tough to say goodbye to, the, to, to family that you're not going to see for a while. But you're also excited to get that car rolling and, uh, and get on with the get on and, with it. And indeed, they are off. Crew 11 on the road to launch pad 39A. The Teslas are rolling out from the Neil Armstrong building, escorted by security for the 20-minute drive. Lyle seals are removed and installation is complete. This is about 10 minutes behind schedule. Again, we have plenty of margin to our green light time. Uh, team is making up time. 